Hello and welcome to 2695 County Line Road, Kettering, Ohio. Here I'm out in the driveway walking to the front of this home. And this is on County Line and you'll see that there is some construction going on here. They're expanding and going to put a bike path right here, but there is nothing going to be taken from the front of this yard, just so you're aware. But this is a full brick home. Guys, this house is just amazing. So much entertaining here. This is definitely going to be the place that people have get-togethers and Thanksgivings and birthday parties and after-school parties and everything. Huge oversized two, oversized two-car garage here. There is a one-car carport that stays along with this two-car garage. Can park three cars wide here, no problem at all. Uh, current owners had an RV parked out here. There is a drain system there. And behind this fence is a pool, a huge backyard, and we can't see it right now, but there are three huge decks with a hot tub that stays. Guys, wait until you see the inside of this house. Next, let's go inside and take a look. All right, so here it just came through the front door and we're greeted by a grand opening here. Ceiling fan at the top of the forward entry here. Nice big door with two side lights. Coat closet, once we come in, all of the doors have been updated. Have a two-tone handrail that opens up into our living room. This is the front of the house right here. We have a pitcher window in the middle with two sliders on either side. Those are all double pane glass windows. Gas fireplace, this is a custom gas fireplace with nice shiplap look to it. Living room flows right into our dining room area. There's our sliding door that has been updated that goes out to one of our three decks. This is a second floor deck here. This little corner cabinet here, not little, this is a big corner cabinet here. Trying to get you a better light here. That is, a, that is negotiable, that could stay. It is not attached with the property. But nice open floor plan here, and we'll look at that back deck here momentarily. The kitchen, this is all a ceramic tile in here. And check out this little breakfast table here, a little butcher table. This thing is heavy, heavy duty. This is real solid wood. This is negotiable as well. From the window here, this overlooks our second floor deck. And all the windows have been updated. Kitchen updated with granite countertops in here. All of our kitchen appliances stay. These are all stainless steel. The dishwasher, side-by-side -side fridge, this fr Frigidaire Gallery fridge, Whirlpool microwave and range both stay and look at the size of this kitchen sink huge and this overlooks the backyard where you can watch the kids and dogs run and play and then we're going to go check out two of the bedrooms that are on this floor and kind of a full bath and a half bath as well this bathroom's been updated we have updated flooring in here there's a lot of cool little features like this is actually like a little medicine cabinet here opens up a lot of modified things in the bathroom we have a nice little feature like 10 kind of give it that country feel updated granite on the vanity vanity's been updated as well and even a very unique mirror kind of like a repurposed mirror like off of a dresser and again all of these doors have been updated bedroom number one we do have hardwood in here Double closet, and this is a big room. This is on the front middle of the home if you're looking at it from the street. Cool little play area. I have one of these in my house and the kids love it. This is the main hide and go seek place right here for the kids. But additional storage could be a little office area or just a little hideout. Now the owner suite here, this looks like it was maybe meant to be two bedrooms at one time, but it's just one huge bedroom. And look at this, this is like a repurposed thing here with a new, I believe this is marble on this here, and then a huge, huge mirror. So this is in the bedroom, so kind of a makeup, get ready area if the other person's in the bathroom. Now one thing I forgot to point out in the kitchen and whatnot, all of the TVs and the TV mounts are going to stay throughout the house, everywhere. Wood floors in here as well, his and her, Closets, or if it's like my house, hers and her closets. Ceiling fans help with the energy efficiency over here along with all the windows. Now, let's go check out that second floor deck. I'm gonna walk to the other side of the house. 
try not to give you a vertigo here. We come out here, we have some great views out here and we'll see the lower level here in a little bit, but this is all newer composite decking here, newer rail around the second story. So this is obviously, you can see the second story deck. One of three sheds that stay. That's an apple tree over there in the corner. And there's our in-ground swimming pool. And we'll take a look at that when we go down to the ground level. And this is a full brick home. So this isn't just a partial brick facade. This is full brick all the way around. And we have composite decking down here. This is our second deck. And beneath us, we have another deck, but that's like a Florida room with a hot tub that stays. Here is our second shed. We'll get a better look at that when we go down there. And then we have our pool shed down there that stays as well. And I believe uh, the liner is updated here. Then we have vinyl fence that goes all the way around the property. So this is definitely a place to have a staycation for sure. Next, let's go check out the lower level. Okay, so here just came down the stairs down into the basement. We have ceramic tile down here. This is all wood look ceramic tile, which is also waterproof and you'll see why we need it here in a second. This is our third bedroom. This is in the back middle of the home, if you're looking at it from the street. Double closets in here, overhead ceiling fan, updated windows down here as well. This is our mechanical room. We have our updated furnace and water heater in here. This is our garage door. This takes us out to our two-car garage, and there's plenty of storage out there as well. Look at that vanity. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous vanity. The wood look, ceramic in here as well. Commode is behind the door to my right here. Walk-in shower and a stackable washer and dryer. And guys, this stackable washer and dryer stays with the home, as does the kitchen appliances. So go into our family room, our under stairs storage here. That's a good amount of storage there. And that wood look ceramic tile goes throughout and opens up into just a great room down here. All the shiplap stuff. Now, there's still some top molding that is going to be put up here momentarily. It's not up here right now, so there's a few finishing touches that are going to be put on this. Then check out that TV. Huge TV. That stays as well. Gas fireplace here, and this is real stone. Nice wood mantle here as well. And then we have uh, French doors here. We open them up to show you going out to the Florida room. One thing to point out, these have blinds built into them. So both of these doors do shut. And this hot tub here does stay. As you can see, it's fully operational. It's got LED lights inside of it. The jets are on and lots of windows in here. We have shades. These shades do stay, these privacy shades that go all the way around so you could be naked as a jaybird in this hot tub and nobody would know about it. Now this is all uh, painted deck boards in here. Sliding door, sliding door, sliding door, sliding door. So all kinds of uh, points of egress here. This is all covered. So that top deck that we saw is straight above us. Then coming out to our third deck here, step down, steps down just a little bit. This is all composite decking here and is not very old at all and a very good size backyard. We already talked about the sheds and the vinyl fencing that goes throughout. Plenty of, I mean, this is the get together house for sure. This is one of those really nice Rubbermaid sheds. I don't know if it's Rubbermaid, but it looks like Rubbermaid to me. Short fences here. Looks like we have some uh, rose bushes here. There's our one car carport. And we have a side attached two car garage. This is just a great, great setting. Now, some people may think on county line is loud. I'm back here now. I cannot hear a single thing while I'm back here. And then checking out the pool. Get the gate open. So this is our shallow end here. And it goes down to our deep end. And it's not super duper deep. But you can, I don't know if you can tell in the video where my shadow is, right to the right here. 
kind of goes down and then levels out the bottom here. All of the pool equipment is going to stay. You can just see having a sit out here on a hot summer day having a daiquiri. This is like on vacation out here at this house. Our pool shed here. And then our pump, our sand engine pump is behind that over that little lattice thing over there. And really a good amount of privacy when you're in the pool too. This place is something special. Three decks, mechanicals updated, try to get above the fence. A Florida room, of course that's one of the decks here. Two car garage, carport. Guys, this has something for everybody. If you're looking for a place for a staycation, I mean, look no further. And for Kettering Schools at this price, uh, I think you, your search is over. So if you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show it to you. Guys, a house like this, at this price, this location, I mean, we're just minutes from the green, minutes from 675, 35, just lo great, great location. Tons of privacy from those back hedges. Give us a call. We look forward to talking to you. Actually, one more thing before we sign off here wanted to point out a couple things. I figure I'd come back to this back corner. I'm not even all the way to the back corner, just to show how big the yard is. Plenty of room for a playset. Garden here. Here's our apple tree. Nice mature apple tree. One of our other sheds. And we also have a Rubbermaid shed over here. So storage galore. Back here across from that bush, there's a gate there. So you could get large things back here, but just a huge backyard. I mean, need I say more? All right, thanks for watching.